Today's just a little update on some plants we haven't seen for a few years now, and this is the Trifoliate Oranges, or otherwise known as the Hardy Orange, Latin name Ponsiris Trifoliata. As you can see by the stems and the thorns, they are very much citrus. In fact, the family has recently been moved from Ponsiris to uh, the citrus family um, because they are undoubtedly citrus. I mean, just look at them. But yeah, this is Ponsiris trifoliata, formerly known. This is the hardy orange, the deciduous orange, and the only true citrus tree you can grow in the UK without any problems of hardiness, without protection and all that good stuff. Now, I've repotted these trees last week and given them a prune. And as you can see, three of them are doing really well. Um, on this tree here, there are two huge growths, as you can see, that have left. And I just wasn't sure which one should be the main stem. So I've left it, left them both for now. We'll see which does better in the growing season. Um, now, these are, I believe, the flying dragon version of the tree because they do grow very contorted and very bushy-like. Uh, as you can see from the smaller one here. However, I want them to reach their full potential as the trees that they would eventually grow to be. So I do prune them every few years and uh, plant them when I repot them in a way which makes them stand up straight. As you can see here, as he's been repotted, he's kind of grown on a slant here and then up there and then I've potted him so he moves up this way. And so they're gonna have quite bendy trunks. And that's just the nature of the plants, and they will straighten out as they get thicker. Um, of the four trees, one of them has always been much smaller than the others. <clears throat> For years they had the same sized pots, the same amount of soil and nutrients, the same conditions, same watery and everything. However, one tree just always grew much smaller and much more bushy than the others. Bear in mind this is after pruning, because I've took probably about half a plant off of him. I didn't want to take too much off. Um, I think this tree is just bound to grow much smaller than the others, probably be more of a bush, which is fine. He'll probably get there eventually as well. I've got a few dead bits actually here, just need taking off. Um, but yeah, it happens sometimes with uh, plants, you get little genetic differences which mean they grow differently. And you may say, well, why don't you put them in the same size pot, he might grow bigger, but they've always had the same conditions, and uh, this time, I thought, well, I'm going to repot him, but not as heavy, because uh, although they are all the same age, this one's a lot smaller, and so is his root ball. He doesn't need a huge pot like these three. Um, this is a pot up from what he was in, so... Whereas these three guys, their roots seem to exceed their pot every time I uh, repot them within a few months, probably, so... This will be them in their pots for another couple of years, perhaps, if this one does well. I'll repot him to a similar size as these guys, but... The three behind will be in these pots for at least a couple of years. Um, they've really shot up though in the uh, last year. Um, bearing in mind I've took off loads of growth. Um, as you can see here, quite a few stems have been taken off and branches. All of this is new. All of this coming up this way. So yeah, these, uh, these two here are probably the stars of the show. And uh, we've actually still got some leaf here, if we can uh, focus on that. Let's try again. Yeah, there we go. Wasn't having it before, but we've got a couple of little um, leaves left from the tri leaf or tri leaflet um, petioles that these trees do grow. And so here they are, repotted and uh, pruned and in their winter state. Completely lifeless, pretty much at the moment and uh, they've already survived some frost and snow this winter with probably more to come so yeah that's the trifolia orange all four trees still alive sown in 2013 i believe perhaps 2012 i believe it was 2013 so that would make them eight years old now so fairly slow growing you could um kind of compare them to the british hawthorn really another slow contorted thorny uh, tree which takes a long time to grow but once it gets there you know they put some time in and uh, when you see an ancient hawthorn that's hundreds of years old you see how thick and strong and sturdy they are the uh, hardy orange can be compared to them in the uh, asiatic world 
my dream for these is to plant them um, either on my own land in the future if I can acquire some or in a nice woodland that I know they'll be safe in and then eventually get the pollen from these trees to breed with my male lemon tree that was the original reason I bought the seeds for this tree not only to try them out myself but also to uh, eventually cross pollinate them with the lemon tree and create a hardy lemon hybrid so that's still the dream uh, it's a big and long project and one which will take many years but uh, yeah, this is the uh, four hardy oranges and I'll give you a quick look at the lemon tree as well which is um, I think 11 years old now 2010 that was sown so it's a couple of years older than these guys and it shows and it also shows how much faster and taller growing the uh, tropical trees are but I'll uh, move on to him now and please do excuse the mess it's a bit of a staging area at the moment but this is the lemon tree huge pot and of course frost protection fleece up there but he has a huge canopy lovely healthy leaves and uh, yeah he's looking great but uh, like I say an 11 year old tree and including the pot I'd say this tree is a good 8 foot tall without the pot perhaps 6 foot so yeah really thick base as well look at that big Amazonian jungle tree looking gorgeous he's had a couple of bad winters where he's uh, died right back to just the stem hence where these guys came from he did used to just have a nice big canopy up there but he's reformed it over the last couple of years and that has happened a couple of times so yeah the end goal is to breed a lemon tree with the hardy oranges and create a uh, semi-deciduous and hardy lemon tree 